Hello dear sub colleagues and sub friends. In today's video I would like to show you how you can build an ALP grid in ABAP. For those of you who, who don't know what this is, this is basically um, a, a, an option to return a table in which you may be able to change parameters. Basically this is a very very good thing, it's very useful because for instance if there are people who are not technicians, who are not developers and they want to use this table, they want to use a transaction in order just to show a table, they don't they don't want to see the code or something, they're not able to understand the code and basically if, if you build a report where an ALV grid is um, shown this would be a perfect opportunity for the people who are not technicians, um, as I said, to use this transaction in order to show the data and maybe to do some changes in the tables. And these changes can also be taken on the database. They can be saved on the database. Okay, so now we'll start with writing a small or not that small program. Definitely, there would be moments where I would stop, think, maybe think with you, where I'll explain things. But basically, the most important thing is for you to understand what we are doing as a, as a frame of the whole operation, I would like to call it, because you need a frame, you need to understand what you need for this task in order to be able to implement it uh, for your problem. Okay, so once again, um, we'll start with the transaction SE38 because we want to create uh, a new report, a new program. And the program this time would be called Z test, uh, or mm, let's say Z test ALV grid and save because we want to be able to save this grid with changes. This would be interesting. Now we will go to create. And here we need a small title a text through to the to the program which would be shown every time we execute the program and this can be a, this can be now program for showing the sp fly data well, what is SPFly? SPFly is a database table, which is SAP standard database table. And in this table, you have a lot of test data. Basically, if you install SAP at home on your servers, for instance, um, SAP is providing this data to you in order for you to be able to test different things. And because I want to do this, um, in a way that everybody can redo it and in a way that everybody can understand it and maybe do it at your at, at, at home i'm using data which is sap standard data so to say and the people are able to understand it but and basically the, this table uh, is um, containing data from flights from uh, so to say airport activities if you like to wish it basically you can have flights from tokyo to frankfurt and uh, this data um, is saved and maintained in this table but there are some other tables as well but we would work in this example with this sp fly data table database table okay now we would like to select a type of the program and this would be an executable program a status it's productive client program but basically i think you're you don't actually need these things you don't need roles you don't need uh, database because uh, everything should be al already set up i guess uh, in your system 
this is these are also some things which I've been explaining in a previous video and I would like at the end you'll be able to click on this video and see a little bit more about these selection parameters here if you want to know more about them they're here in German but also you can find them um, I explain them in English in this video okay we go on save and uh, as I've been previously explaining as well we go on local object because we want to save this in, in the system where we are and we do not want to transport it in next systems um, in, in almost every company there are as I've been explaining as well different systems different so to say environments and the first one is this where we are now this is the development environment then you can tr transport to the quality environment where you can test the quality of the development and at the end there is the productive environment this is how SAP usually sees it we go on local object and we are ready to go the first thing that I would like to um, show you is the fact that, as I've said, there, are, there is a frame of this development and I've already been thinking about this and there are some points which are very important and we'll start with them and then just fill them up. The first thing is the, the declar declaration of the variables and of the, of, of the tables is a declar uh, sorry declaration then we have the get data part we need to get the data to select it from the database then we have the make field cat then show the alv grid And what you need as well is the form GUI status as well as the form save data. And last but not least important, we need the form user. command or let's do it capital letters okay basically these are the seven um, main points in this report in this program and basically we will now start to fill them up fill them fill them with life so to say and we'll start with a declaration. If something is not explainable to you, if you cannot explain yourself something, of some, some of these, let's say, um, rows, if you wish, um, some of the code here or some of the idea, you can write this in the comment and I'll try to help you. I'll definitely do my best to help you. But now we got to start and I'm not going to explain every single word but I'm, I will try to keep the frame clear, as I said earlier. Well, first things first, we need data because we want to define, um, to, we want to declare, we want to declare data variables or tables or work areas or whatever. And for this purpose, we, the first thing we need is the um, internal table of SP fly. That's why we write IT. Uh, SP fly IT stands for internal table. Then we write type type table of SP fly. Okay. We also would need one work area. This is the work area SP fly. It's like header, but you see how how we use this and why do we need it a little bit later. And yeah, this is actually about the SP fly what we need. And I think we would also need some other things. We would also need one more internal table, which is uh, called SP fly CP, I would like to call it. 
And then we also need to say this time standard table of SP fly. In, in a next video, I would like to talk about the types of tables. There are different types, but now I don't want to lose a lot of time on this uh, topic because this is uh, there are basically different types and the way you, sell, you, you uh, declare a table is actually pretty important for the tasks that you have to do. Um, but now just we accept that it should be like this because as I said, the, the point, the main point of this video is to show you the frame of how you can do an ALB grid and how you can change, make it in a way that you can change it, that the people who are not technicians can change it. Okay, then we also need the internal table changes, which I would like to call now type standard table of SP fly. And we also need some declaration for the data uh, for the field, ca field cats. Um, we need one work area, which I would like to call it field cat type SLIS field cat RLB. Well, basically, this is a SAP standard type you, which you can use as well in your system. It must be there. You don't have to define anything for these things. You also, we also need an, an one internal table uh, for the field cat um, type s list underscore t underscore field cat uh, a l v. And the last thing for the from the declaration part is a one local structure for the layout. Um, basically, we need to try ls for local structure. Wa stands for work area. Well, this is actually something which uh, I'm really, really keen on. I really like to make the the, the, the code clear itself. Um, and that's how I actually write my programs. But um, I, I hope that you can only learn from, from, from this. Because I've seen some very bad programs in my in my past and there are people who actually don't really care how the code is looking they just care whether the code is understandable from the next they just care about the fact that they have done the task they have written the program this is not a good thing okay layout is also is declared as well and that was it actually for the declaration part. Now we would like to do something more. Now we'll go and type select and star and well, I hope you know what star means here. Star means that you select all the data from this table, from this database table, from SP fly, and then you will write into table, internal table, SP fly, point, and okay, now we can check this for mistakes, no mistakes, it's good, and what we actually need as well now is to start defining the field cats, well basically this is not the easiest thing, um, I mean, to understand but you see how it is working at, at the end and for this purpose I would like to define something more here we definitely would need uh, one index um, which we will use in, in, in this um, in, in the work with the work area work area field cats uh, basically we, that's why we say once again here data this is not a big deal here you can do it LV, local variable, LV stands for local variable, then we need um, index, then type, and this would be type integer one, length one. Okay, um, we now need to, s to set a variable to this index. This would be LV index equals zero, okay. And now we start with the word, uh, work area, 
field cat for the field cat field cat field name and now the key fields car id what i'll do now is i'll click on um control d like five times one two three four five i'll go to the first row again and write point here and then maybe i'll like I'll write the points everywhere because actually we do need them i forgot them and we also need now the next field here this would be the se selection text we also need a column position, the column position. We also need the output length. Length, output length, I think it is called. We'll see if I do a mistake, but this is absolutely normal. Mistakes are always welcome because without mistakes, we don't learn. I hope that I'm not going to do a lot of mistakes because I want to show you from the first time, of course, how you can do it. And I really don't want to lose your time. But I haven't been actually practicing this beforehand. And this makes it a little bit complicated for me now. Okay. Um, this would be good. This would be good as well. We definitely need here the L the index plus one and here 10 and here key would be x there is key this is key Oops. and here we also need one l this would be just l okay now we would like to append this. Let's append this work area field cat to the internal table or field cat. And now we would like to clear the, the work area because we want to use it again. Clear work area field cat. Okay. And basically what we would like to do now is we would just like to copy this um, we would like to copy this part with the um, setting of values to the field cut three more times for at, uh, at all because we would like to have four key fields one two three we have four times the tank here and basically what we are going to do now is we are going to change some of the key fields now because we would like to use them as they are, as the, as the key fields should be. But you see, as I said, at the end, how the things relate. And maybe you would have to, if you want to do this once again in your system, you'd have to um, switch back and forth in order to be able to see how it is done exactly and how it is functioning. Uh, for me, it is all clear. Uh, I know what I'm doing and I know what the result would be, but I've, I've done this a couple of times already because um, this is um, very, very of, often this is the a requirement to do the, to the programs in SAP. And okay. First field has been declared. Now we would like to go to the second one, which would be the connection ID of the flight here. And we also like to say that we have selection text here. L, B index stays the same, X, and this would be C here. We append and we go to the next one. This would be city from, and we will have here once again, city from uh, uh, in this stage, this would be with length 30, because maybe a little bit longer the field. We have here um, just a moment. Wow, actually, 
Now, from this part here, we would like to, and in, in, in this here, field here, we would like to do a small change. And this would be, a, but this would be a very important change because now we would say what would be editable. Just see how it is done. Um, I have here key and just, and here we'll have just, this would not be a key field because we want to be able to change it. We have just um, would be L, and we would like also, sorry, ha. and we would like also here to have edit, not key anymore. Edit, and edit would be C, or um, uh, this actually would be X, yeah, sorry. We, we would like to have it X in order to be able to change it. And furthermore, we have here a city2 field. We have city from, city2. And basically, we are almost good to go, but we have some more small things here to change. We have the city2 index trace. 30 here and actually now we have just here this also is another key here as well well basically i think this one would be enough if you want to change it so that you can understand how it is working the whole thing um this was the creation of our yeah catalog. this looks good just check i want to just check it once again thing is to call the ALV grid indexes, clearing, for this dependence. We can okay, let's check, check me for mistakes. And we write to use. Okay, no mistakes. For ALV there are no mistakes, which is pretty good. Is to okay, I think we're good ALV to go grid. on. We would like now to show let's this see. grid. Click on the button. Let's okay. see how it is, and how you can do this. For this purpose, we would like to use the pattern. And what we want to find is the, fu the function reuse ALV grid. And you may write star in order to be able to find it. Yeah. And basically, the one that we need is the one that we need is, I'm just thinking for a second. Well, this is the display, yeah. Okay, the one that we need is display. And basically, we have it here. We have exceptions handling, we have tables as out, a table as, as out tab as return table and we need. basically we this need is absolutely okay what we can do is we can remove the exceptions we would and not we're not going to do this need, uh, now with exceptions uh, we can as well um, yeah we can as well remove some of these things I think as well because for instance the buffer interface check bypassing buffer we don't need these things we what we need is I callback program I callback PF set well basically we want to explore these things command okay we need layout as well and we can now yeah, delete nice. the other things because we definitely don't need these things for now, for our purpose. Okay. And the so tables stay the same. We copy. also because we we would not yep. import import anything from the report to here. We just want to return the, the table. Yes, the and table. basically, this should be working, I think. We'll yeah. see, we'll see. I, I'm almost 100% sure that this would be working. As I said, I've been using this strategy, so to say, before. 
we need the layout and the which we declared uh, up there we declare this ls the lock of structure of layout here ls layout and what we also need is here the internal table of the field cat which we have been here um, so to say we have been appending values to, and and then rows with values to this table and um, that is why we do we need it we also need here to say that the uh, return table would be equal so to say to the internal table to the internal table of sp fly okay Let's activate them. Now we would like to check this this thing. What are there are mistakes? Oh, field, field cat. Sorry for this. No mistakes. And now we can activate the program. And now we can execute the program. Okay, beautiful. The data is there, and as you can see, this field is not green because this would be the one that we would be able to change but for this purpose we have to do some other things as well i think we have done like 60 percent of the work already okay the suitable error handling is very important thing, but our target is, is, is now to be able to execute this program, to change something here, then go on save, and the database table should be should be changed. This would be a change which would be written on the database, so basically a very important change, and we should, we should be very careful with such uh, reports, because we don't want to so to say um corrupt the productive data right it's very very important okay so we would not um implement suitable suitable error handling because what we are doing now it's almost 100 percent sure however if you want to check the data you may use the uh s uh, 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 sub rc the subroutine code and basically after calling this function you can get a decent subroutine code in order to be able to see whether there was data where there was a problem with the execution of this function here and things like this um i may actually leave it here for you in order to to be able to 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 use this um i would like to upload this code um in uh, in 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 the description of the video so that you are able to to copy it if you wish and reuse it um this would be of course from my side no problem i'm there to help you and i hope you can you can um, achieve more with these videos this is the the aim of it but for now this one stays out we are not going to use it however as i said you can use the subroutine code to check whether it is different from zero and if it is different from zero then you have problem then you have raise exception or something error uh, text or something you can do a lot of things okay so we are good to continue with the form for gui status and basically now we have to define a form this would be pf status set using x tab from type s list tx tab okay and basically we would like to set the status we like to set the state we forgot here the point the end the rule we would like to set the PF status to standard. Okay. 
Okay, okay, we need to end this for now. We gotta end the form. Well, some of you may say, yeah, why forms? Forms are obsolete. We use object-oriented developing. This is true, but for the task that we have to do here, it is much easier to use form and much convenient and it, it takes less time. And when it comes to performance of the report, it does not really matter how we are doing this. Okay, but if you wish, you can do it object-oriented, of course. This is, um, it's possible, right? It is absolutely possible. Okay. What we do now is we definitely save this program. And uh, we would like to use we would definitely have to use something else here. Just a second. I'm thinking over it. Okay, we have the form here and it is pretty much very important that uh, now we create actually the uh, status, the GUI status. And for this purpose, we go uh, on with the next transaction which we need. This is the SE80, the ABAP workbench. You see why. We need to copy something from SEP standard in order to make the whole thing much, much easier. Um, yep. So we select here programs, then here we would like to type the SAP L K K. Uh, this is an example which I know that we can use L L K K B L B L. And this is the object name here. Basically, this is the function, functional group here. And we would like now to go to GUI status. It's a little bit slow today. I'm not sure why it is not functioning, but now standard. This is what you need. Must be in every single system. And this is actually these are the options. The the this is the field um, the way that you can talk with the fields or the way that the fields can talk to your program. There are fields defined and now we would like just to use this. And for this purpose, um, we have to copy this whole thing and we just go right click on the standard here under this standard GUI status and then you go on copy it takes some some more seconds here uh, why okay it is very very slow the whole thing today the system is sort of slow it's working slowly but it's coming now Okay. Okay. Ha. <laughs> Sorry for this. Hope you don't have these problems. Okay. So it's not what we need. We would like to copy. Okay. From program to program. And now we need our program, which was ZZ. What was it? Just a second. Z test alpha grid safe. Z Z test A L V or alpha in German. Sorry for this. Grid safe. I would like to copy this. Yeah, just copy it.
Okay, this is very, very slow. And as you can see, there is no response from the system now. But there would be nothing that can stop us from doing this. Chaps and friends, I hope that is okay. This is okay there. There will be the objects which would be copied. We are good to go. And we can close uh, this, this uh, window now. I would like to co close it. Well, we'll check for mistakes and activate. But this time, as you can see, there, there is one more thing which can be activated now. This thing. And I would like to activate it. Okay. Whew, this was not an easy thing as well to, uh, to do. But now we are able to um, open once again SE80. Sorry, I... Um, I shouldn't have closed the window, the, the out of workbench, because we need it once again in order for for me to be able to show you that we have we have copied this state this state this GUI status now. Well, basically, if you go now to programs and you write this set test alv grid save the program. Now we have a GUI status standard what we have copied. We also have the fields, this is the under program, this is the form, and this is the GUI status. Okay, nice. I like how we're doing this, and I like how it is actually functioning till now. Basically, we would like to, we would have to do just a few more things in order to succeed in our tasks, or in our program, if you wish. Okay, so now we would like to open the program. It is again so... F sorry for this, it's very, very slow. It's again very, very slow. Oh! I've opened this program already. I'm not able to open it for changes two times. This is a good thing to see, because it happens. And now we would like just to write the next form, which will be for the saving. Form and form. The form would be called F save data, form save data. And we would like to um, write some text here. I basically do prefer to have two empty lines. But the first thing that we would like to do is here to create a, another work area, which would be using. This would be a work area. First work area that we need, and then we need one more. Oh, okay. Just a second, because definitely, I'm definitely not sure where these are. Yeah, for just I. Okay, so we need these special symbols here. You gotta find them on your keyboard. Okay, clear the IT changes because we wanna clear this here at this point. Must be cleared. And we would like also, oh, okay, we forgot something. We definitely 
forgot something and we should actually um so say give the the information to the internal table before to um before to execute the alv alv grid and basically for this purpose we would like just to say internal table sp fly cp and then we need once again these special symbols as i call them i had a hard time finding them but i found found them because i have german uh the keyboard english keyboard and as well one more keyboard and sometimes i gotta sometimes i for, for forget these the smallest uh, symbols which i'm not using that that um, that often and of course this is absolutely okay for you and for me basically now we override this internal table special symbols once again and then well, actually, what we would like to do as well is to say that layout zebra would be. <laughs> you see why I do this? Sorry. Okay. This looks good, I think. We clear the ID changes. Basically, we we'll would need to write the um, loop, loop yeah we need the loop already well we, we came to the point where we can write the loop loop at in the internal table with the information into the work area of the table which we've defined in the beginning of this program we would like to read the table cp here uh, the internal table sp fly cp and you'll see why in a second but basically we have to set the data into another work area which is again the work area for cp and the index would be s what s uh y s s the index would be the system index yeah we need a system index here and just one more if check not equal this is not the case we would like to change and then remove the corresponding values of the work area the tmp and once again, we will, I actually we are good to go and we would like to use modify at this point. We would like to modify the, the database table from the work area with the changes. Okay. This is beautiful what we've done. And however, we should not forget I sh we should not forget that clearing is also very important and we should close the loop as well and the form is closed okay I think this should be working I just check for mistakes and it's changes of course the table and this is written here okay no mistakes last thing we need the one more one more form yeah 
user command using pu.com type as the system you come okay. and it's... then the selection field self field type self field just to align the types because I'm a little bit keen on this got the point here so we have just the case now this is very important it's very important we need the case here. It's happening with the system today, but this would not stop us, as I said, of succeeding with the task. And we need a when case here. Okay. When this is we need one more special symbol here data save and now you see the connection between the fields for saving and the program well the program actually can the program actually would be able to perform things depending on what button from these here will be clicked and our our point our task our target here is if the button save is clicked, the change is to be saved on the database, right? The changes to the to the ALV grid. And this is something very beautiful, I think. Uh, it's very clean. It's like only 120 rows of code. Uh, like we, I think we've done it in, in, about in about 30 minutes. But let's see whether it's working, because of course, this is the most important thing. We want to perform this. And we also want to end the case and end the form, but we have done this. And I would like to condense these rows here because we don't need them. Okay. This is actually pretty much very good looking code, I think. You can uh, say whether you like it or not, but so we can change for mistakes. We... Or there is a mistake. Okay, because there is not underscore, but just this sign. Just a dash. Uh, then here is dash as well. Oh no, 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 really. This is S, S list. I gotta check this. What? Point, f okay. Okay, the end of the row is actually missing. But no mistakes, good to go. Last thing what we have to do. We have to set what we export to the substandard function for reusing the ALV grid. And basically we need the system rep ID here without to be commented like this. And here, if the status is set, we can say PF status set. This is something good. This is the first form, and this is also the second form here. Okay, very, very good. I'm very satisfied with what we've done. And it, the, the last thing, which is, of course, very important, is the code to, to be able to do what the code should do. Um, but if we now activate this, we 
now activate this program it is working and what we have to do in order the save button to be activated is just one more thing which i just now remind me of we basically need to 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 copy this part here because the button should be called like this and we gotta save this we gotta save this and then we gotta I would like to activate this because I think we should we're not going to make any changes any more changes to the program itself. Um, we would like just to to close this program in order to be able to go to SE80 to the program in the ABAP workbench and here we would have to go to this GUI status where the fields were declared and from here we would just have to type to the functional buttons here just what we have. I think it's open for changes. Yeah. Just check. Activate. Okay. Then we can go back. And I should activate the program once again if it is if it is needed. And execute. Okay, nice, nice. The button is activated, everything should be working now. Let's check the functionality of the report, of the program. We have here, okay, I would like now to open one more uh, window. And in this window, I would like to open the SE16, which is the, the, the table browser, the data, the data browser, where basically you can search for tables. And I would like to open the SPFly, this test data table. No selection parameters from me. The data is here. City from, city to. There is some more data which we are not using, as you've seen in the in the field cats. But um, or we haven't declared these fields as field cat. But basically, would now like to change here something. Huh? We have here, for instance, this part. We have New York, and I would like to write now New York from from. Let's say um, it can be from Barcelona. Let's make it Barcelona. The connection ID is 17. This is a key. Barcelona. And save. Back to the table. Refresh. Barcelona. And with this, we have succeeded in our task. I hope you have learned something. I hope you can use, reuse what I've did right now. I hope that you can learn from this. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And I wish you a lot of success in your tasks. All the best and till next time, friends.